<laughs> Good morning guys, I've uh, just come out here, um, I've just brought the missus off at a cafe in the Larbert and I've just popped down to um, the Larbert Viaduct because um, there's a lovely little bit of um, sort of river down here that I want to sort of show you. So what we'll do is we'll walk up a bit the river, it's pretty cold, I think it was minus three in the car coming up so um, yeah pretty bitter so that's lovely I love this time of year um, so what I'll we'll do is we'll meander up the river and um, we'll take you guys along come with me When I've passed over this, over the road, um, during the summer there's lots of lovely wee waterfalls and rapid things, but I don't know if that'll be the case today because there's so much water. Um, there has been a lot of rain in the area. So that's uh, the viaduct there. So let's keep a trekking. Dead slippy underfoot here, so I might end up on my backside. Now that would be funny. Not. Yeah, it's a lovely, brisk Sunday morning. I love getting out in this weather. Blows the old cobwebs away. You know that all that alcohol free beer that I'm drinking um, gives you a hangover. That's surely one thing that I do not, do not miss. It's the hangovers. Distant memory now, but still got to remain quite vigilant. And um, there's so many things that could take you back there in a minute. And I think that's what lots of people struggle with in recovery. Whether you're three days, three weeks, three months, three years, thirteen years, it's um, it's a daily fight. Now I've come here and it's just going to be the end of the road. Close the waters up. Maybe quite a lot of wildlife in this area. Um, kingfishers, Dippers, dippers, no checking dippers, dippers, bird dippers. So I wanted to talk a wee bit about my um, shout out for equipment for the, the Mayfield Road camper guys. We've been asked to, because the initiative has been so helpful to our guys, at Mayfield Road. We'll have another, we'll have quite a few projects, uh, homeless projects in Edinburgh. And I've been asked the possibility to roll the wild camping and outdoor therapy initiative to roll them out to the other projects, which I'm quite happy to do, but we have not got the funding. So I was thinking, right, I'm going to put out onto all these free pages, local pages, asking if, oh wow, look, I've never been here before, by the way, guys, so. Um, if anybody had any sort of old camping equipment to donate to our cause. Now, I figure this is the right time of year to do it because there will not be many people out camping right now and people that have maybe bought camping equipment in the summer and thought shit this isn't for me and now it's just sitting in a shed or a cupboard or a loft somewhere 
loved being attic. Then we could use it. I've had contact from quite a few people. Um, a lady that manages the sorted project in Edinburgh. She's got a tent and some sleeping bags, etc. to donate. Um, we've got a guy that works with Turning Point in Edinburgh. He's also sort of given me some information on where to <coughs> go if I was looking for transport. At the moment we are working with my car, my boss's car and the company vehicle, which is a people carrier. Not going to be ideal if we're taking more people. So he has done something similar in recent years in Edinburgh and he has got a minibus from Bethany Christian Church. Well, we work with Bethany Christians for their starter pack when we're moving our lads into new tenancies, accommodations, etc. So, yeah, I'm hitting the right spots, but we still need gear. A lot of things like, um, a lot of things like clothing, footwear. Anybody got an old pair of walking boots that they don't use anymore because they've moved on to new ones? That sort of thing. So, I know at the moment I can only pick up in the Edinburgh area or the Fort Valley area. But yeah. It would be brilliant if some of you guys, some of my subscribers, and other guys, if you could delve into your sheds and if there's anything in the area, uh, anything that you think that uh, I ain't going to use this anymore, think about us. Um, because that could provide shelter for one of our guys and provide warmth. So, whatever you think um, could be brilliant. We are self-funding. I've managed to secure uh, £1,500 worth of funding this year, but um, that's getting swallowed fast because we've, we've bought a lot of new tents, but we can't have new tents all the time. A lot of our guys are in recovery from addiction. Uh, a lot of guys are still um, struggling with addiction. Uh, mental health issues and obviously homelessness um, but the camp, the wild camps that we go on um, is there is no drugs or alcohol tolerated um, and they found we use any substance at all other than coffee um, we take them right back and we've had to do that in fast camps so we've got to do the trust individual we shall assess um, and see if this individual is ready for an outdoor experience. And only then, once we've assessed, will we invite them along. At no cost to them, but the memories that they come back with are huge. So yeah, let's take a wee walk further up and see what's happening here. I don't know how I'm going to do this. What I'll do guys, I'm going to turn you off for a minute and then I'll bring you back once I've circumnavigated this. Because you'll just see me on Mars.
is all pretty cool. You see, on summer's days when I fast here and looking up from the viaduct, from the main road, this looks absolutely gorgeous. And I've never been here before. So yes. Pretty impressive, if you ask me. I don't actually know the name of this, this piece of water. Um, I'm presuming it will sort of run out onto the river port, one of the tributaries that, that rolls into the port. No fishing for 50 yards down. Okay. I did say one of the information boards coming in that you would look out for salmon. Obviously it's not the season but um, Pretty impressive if we saw one. So, yeah. So, yeah, if there's anything that you guys can do to sort of help us with some equipment. Um, contact me, leave a comment below, contact me, um, nip on to my wild, uh, recovery wild camper page on Facebook and drop me a private mail, um, or private mail me, uh, Andy Trotter, add me on Facebook and we'll sort something out. I can only really pick up in the sort of Edinburgh, Port Valley area, um, Depending on what it was, potentially we could arrange postage. Um, obviously, we've got very, very limited funds. So, yeah, your help would sort of help a whole load of guys when you bring them out into the wilderness and it's something that they're not used to. You've been entrenched in a drug or alcohol habit for many, many years. Um, it's they don't know the great outdoors. I once took a lad. Um, we lost him last year, actually. I, um, I always speak very fondly of Davy. Uh, we lost Davy last year, but. Um, when I first started Port Valley Recovery Campers, we took Davy out and we took him up to the Trossets within a group and he got out the car and he looked around and his face was in absolute awe because he'd been entrenched in a heroin habit for so long that he forgot that this was out here and it was as if I'd driven it to the moon and planked him out on the, on the moon. So, this is what it has, this is the effect that it has on some of our guys, and these memories stay with them forever. Right, I'm going to try and get myself out of here, um, and I'm going to turn you off, and I'll bring you back shortly. So that's me managed to get across all these slippery rocks. And I'm just going to head back to the car. Um, it's been a lovely wee fresh walk and a lovely wee chat to you guys as well. So next week I think we're going to, the next film I'll probably do will be the Mayfield Road Walking Group on Friday where I'm going to take them down to the Innocent Railway on the outskirts of Edinburgh 
just below Arthur's seat. And it's an old railway tunnel that's been paved. I'll find out more about the history. Um, it's not for everyone. Um, but inside this tunnel, there is some fantastic graffiti. Total other end of what I enjoy in the great outdoors. But for some of my guys, the they like the graffiti and the art, because it is art, to a certain extent, if it's done right. But yeah, so, that sun's coming out, absolutely beautiful. I think further up, if I'd walked further up, um, there would have been a couple of nice wee camping spots there, but it's more really urban camping. We're lucky we are in Scotland that we can drive for an hour and be in the most beautiful scenery, even up to the Trossachs. Um, East Lothian beach camps is another great place. Um, So I think that's actually just starting to come out of the out of the trees. So I should be able to see my car from here somewhere. Wow, that sun is strong. Totally amaze balls. There's the the Larbert Viaduct. Let me pan round to where we've been. So over there is Larbert just outside Falkirk. And then looking up the way there's, there's Stirling, Bannockburn, um, maybe about, what, 10, 15 miles away? <coughs> I'm currently looking for my car. Yeah, I know it's over here somewhere. I hope nobody's off with it. Surely not. And that would be a pretty expensive walk. Oh no, there it's there. There it's there. There's the prick. Sorry for the language, but it gets named the prick because it's a cactus. Boom, boom. Citroen cactus. One of the best cars I've ever had, actually. Definitely one of the newest. And that all comes from being sort of stable years um, I couldn't get my driving license because I'd had seizures due to my alcohol and then I had operations and for for years they refused to sort of renew my driving license until I'd been sort of five years without a seizure um, and then finally only about sort of six years ago did I six seven years ago did I manage to get back on the road but Anywho, we're here now, but it's always worthwhile, always worthwhile remembering these times.
Oh yeah, guys. What do we think about what I have asked about donating some equipment to the Mayfield Road um, wild campers? Um, it would help a lot of people. And it would make it easier for us to get these guys out there. Probably increase our cabs from four cabs a year to a lot more. So, yeah, so anything from tents, sleeping mats, rucksacks, clothing, footwear, anything for the outdoors and camping um, would be appreciated. So, cool. So I'm going to head off to the car, get back down the road, and um, I've got my tent to dry out from Tuesday. It's been drying. Um, but I need to get it sort of refolded up and packed away. So, yeah, so thanks very much, guys, and I shall see you on the next one.